So my name's Carl Rosen. I'm professor and head in the uh, Department of Soil, Water, and Climate. I have a three-way split, um, teaching, research, and extension. However, since I'm an administrator, um, those, the, the actual percentages really don't mean anything. I've become very good at facilitating, uh, delegating, and putting out fires. So that's what I've been doing the last six years. But I do teach a class. I teach uh, Soil 3416, which is Plant, Nutrients, and the Environment. It's a class that's taught in the spring. I co-teach it with John Lamb. We also offer the same class to graduate students that do not have a soils background, LAAS 8195. So those that need to uh, uh, get that information can take it for graduate credit. I advise uh, four students currently, or co-advise, uh, Brian Bowman in WRS, my son in LAS and Sawyer, and LAS and Persephone Mott. Persephone just started. I'll talk a little bit about some of the projects the other students are doing um, in just a little bit. I also supervise uh, two postdocs, um, Emerson Cordova and uh, Sonia Ghani uh, with, with Gary Fires. And, and I have uh, research scientists and Matt McNearney that help coordinate some of my um, research uh, programs. I can go over here. Okay, so my primary area of interest is in nutrient management. Um, for various cropping systems, I was actually hired with a, a joint appointment in horticulture, so a lot of my research is on horticultural crops, uh, but I work in a variety of cropping systems. Uh, just for kind of why I got into this, I, I'm very interested in food production and nutrient management. Nutrient application is very important for uh, a growing world population. However, there is an unintended consequences of nutrient application, particularly when you look at the major nutrients, uh, nitrogen and phosphorus, uh, in terms of how it affects environmental uh, quality. There's a particular impacts on water quality when you look at nitrification, uh, or eutrophication and, um, and uh, nitrate leaching. It also has impacts on the atmosphere, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and ammonia. So those are some of the things we need to, to look at when we manage nutrients. So my primary goal is to find ways of improving nutrient management to reduce some of these unintended consequences. You have multiple approaches for that. So some of the current projects I have, I'm not going to read all of these, but I just want to give you an idea kind of, a, of, of the types of projects that I'm in. The first four of those are potato-related projects on irrigated soils. Minnesota ranks about sixth or seventh in potato production. They're all produced on vulnerable soils, so we're very interested in where that uh, some of those nutrients end up, particularly nitrate. Um, uh, you can see that a, a lot of these, my funding sources are, are varied from private industry to state to uh, federal sources. I, I'm very collaborative with other researchers within the department. I rely a lot on postdocs, graduate students to, to help conduct a lot of these studies. So um, uh, we, we, the, the last two, uh, one, one is on uh, switchgrass and the, the last one is if we can't, manage things through, um, uh, through nutrient application. We're looking at ways of remediating some of those, uh, some of the, uh, the nitrate with things like fire reactors. My last slide here is kind of short and long-term goals. And I'm um, putting my administrative hat on for this. We have a very uh, diverse department, but we have a lot of things in common. So my goal is to foster collaboration, take advantage of departmental expertise in these areas, soil, soil water, and climate. They all inter interact. Explore some of the interrelationships. We really have a, a, some, some of the top-notch faculty in the, uh, in the country in these three areas. And finally, create synergy. Make the whole greater than the sum of the parts. It's my hope that this seminar series that we have over the next three weeks 
will be the start of creating this synergy. 